Hi, this is Mrs. Rosevere from PS11, and in the screencast, I'll show you how to navigate and use our HOP resources. Our HOP resources are kept on our PS11 Show Me website, so this is our homepage right here. And if you look across the top menu bar, you'll see a lot of different options, but today we're really just going to focus on HOP, so let's click there. So once you click on HOP, it'll take you to a page that gives you a general overview of our home base optional practice and then even link you to the research that inspired HOP as well as our no homework policy. And I just want to reiterate here that HOP is optional. It's not required. It won't be checked by your child's teacher. It's just that at PS11, we believe in informing and supporting our school community. So the resources you'll find here are just another way for us to inform our families about the content being taught in the classroom and support our families in extending the content beyond the classroom if they desire to do so. So it's optional, it's not required, but these are really great resources if you want to support your child and they have an interest in exploring content beyond the classroom in interesting and exciting ways, okay? We just want them to have fun with this. So with that being said, let's dig in. So if you hover over HOP, You'll see it's broken down by grade levels. We have kindergarten through fifth grade, and then we also have related services such as occupational therapy, speech and language, specialty classes like performing arts and science, and also our FAQ page. So if you find that you still have unanswered questions after the screencast, I definitely recommend that you check out our FAQ page. So just a bit about these resources. The teachers at PS11 have carefully curated all of them for you and your children. They've sifted through the endless options on the internet to give you the best and most relevant resources to supplement what the child is learning in class. So let's take a look at a grade. Let's say we have a second grade student and we want to see how we can support what they're learning in class. You'd go to hop. You go to second grade and then scroll to the right on this drop down and there you'll see all the content that's taught in second grade. We have our writing units, reading units, math units, and content units. For today, why don't we take a look at math? So in our math units, we see that there's a few listed. There's more to come, but I'm going to go with unit one, understanding place value. This is the first unit that's taught in second grade and it's actually the unit that's being taught right now. So let's click on it to check it out. So when we get to the Unit 1 Understanding by Place Value hot page, you can see how we've organized the resources. Right here, at first we've listed the independent resources. If I scroll down a little further, you'll see family resources right here. And then even further, we have some extensions on this page. So broken down by independent and family options, and then we even get into some extensions. So let's look at some of these. For independent, we've listed online games, websites, and apps. So these are all games your children can play online. Some of them can be played on tablets. We have videos that are relevant to place value that the kids can watch and then you guys can discuss. We also have games and activities. Now this right here, this is pretty cool, these resources, because these are printable resources. They're not actually online games. So if you click on count by fives, it'll take you directly to a printable resource where you can print up this game. It has all the pieces, it has all the materials you need, and you can play it with your kid. So if you find that your child's struggling with counting by fives, other, you know, by just observing them or by having a discussion with the child's teacher, this is a really cool way you can practice that's more fun for a kid than, you know, having them just practice counting by fives on their fingers. So again, we just want them to have fun with this, and this is just one of the options. So let's keep moving down. We have some projects here that kids can do. We have worksheets as well. So if you want to click on one of these worksheets, it'll take you directly to the website through the hyperlink. And you can print worksheets directly from there if you find that that's what, the way your child likes to work. Continuing on our journey, we have now our family resources, games and activities you can play together, projects you can do, and videos you guys can watch together and discuss. And finally, like I said, this page happens to have extensions. So if your child needs even more of a challenge, you can check out some of our extension, which are some pretty fun games and websites. So that's basically the gist of HOP. Uh, I showed you where to find it. I've showed you how it's organized and kind of how to use these resources. So we really hope these resources help you understand how to support your child in school better. Please let us know what you think. 
we are always trying to improve what we're doing to help our school community. Thank you for your time.